Hey guys, Lovable Idiot here. Welcome back to part three of the big video games monthly flash sale unboxing that that I bought. So to recap what I did, I bought a video games monthly flash sale for 100 games. Please go watch part one to see what the flash sale listing said, what I the price I paid for. Without further ado, let's get into it. So far, we have already unboxed 50 games. Let's get on to the next 25 games. All right. So I'm going to pick... One, two, three, four, five, six. 25 more games here. Jesus Christ. Video Games Monthly. What is wrong with you? All right, we just got a bunch of loose games. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep five of those for the next uh, next go around. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, eleven. 12, 13, ooh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, right. 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Alright, sorry, I'm picking out 25 games from the box here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 22, 22, 20, 20. I actually think that the games that I pulled out are a lot better than what's in the box, but I digress. All right, boys, let's boys and girls, let's get into it. So I'm gonna start off with the loose discs, like really extremely loose discs. Kind of, you got I, okay. It's a bad business model, I would say, to get games like this so here's a completely lose the disc like okay video games one thing i'm gonna critique you guys real quick you should still do not send games like this you could have just put them in a bag or something take a little bit more care for it all right but they got a, a very loose copy of elder scrolls online terminal unlimited so i'm not mad about that that's just trash to me for the original Xbox, we got NCAA Football 2005. Um, I think these are still in kind of playable condition, so... Uh, for Xbox... Huh. So we got two copies of NCAA 2005. All right, or oh, this one looks like it has two games on it. So Top Spin and then NCAA. So you got a variant there. Um, ESPN two K five, Fight Night Round two, and then and then Madden two thousand and seven. So hopefully none of these are valuable because that's just goddamn 50 games monthly. Bad business model. Alright, let's all rise up and criticize video games monthly for that. Even if they're crap games that you don't normally give out in a subscription box, still put them in freaking things to, to keep them safe. Alright, 
So these are going to be like that. Here's for the Nintendo 64. We got the BAM NASCAR 99. So I'm actually happy to receive this for the collection. Um, I think I'm going to be fine with like racing games for the uh, 64. Uh, I'm going to try to be f more fine and okay with like sports games for my consoles because they're their game stats, the collection. So, so I'm gonna do a sell pile and then a keep pile. All right, here's something for the Nintendo DS that's been shrink wrapped. Three, two, one, ba bam, and I'm happy to add this. Add this to the collection. Gummy Bears Mini Golf. The gummy bears welcome you. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to read that to you guys. Looks like I have some label damage, but that's okay. Definitely have to add that to the collection. I might like it, might not. And then something that I will give to the game store again. The biggest loser uh, for the Nintendo DS. So I don't think, like I said, this is... Oh my god, no way. Okay, so like I said, this is a game that they won't normally give you inside your subscription box. So I think that's why they always give it in the flash sale boxes. But that is going in the cell pile. A game that I've always wanted. Always just... Because goddamn, looks like it's still sealed, kind of. But like a broken seal. And it is... Ba bam Sneak King for the X for Xbox? Oh yeah. Sneak Sneak King for original includes Xbox 360 and original Xbox versions. So if you guys don't know what se a Sneak King is, I'm just I'm just gonna let the people know who don't know. Um this is actually a Burger King um history piece right here. Um So basic so basically with this game I mean, so this game, um, I believe it was if you went to Burger King, because Burger King at the time had had these games in hand, and you could ask for a copy of, of this game, and you can buy it at the at at, at Burger King, base. And what this game is, you're the Burger King King mascot guy. And you're sneaking around, I'm guessing, trying to give people a Whopper. So that that's hilarious. That's why it's called Sneak King. That's awesome, dude. And it's a broken seal. I don't know how valuable this is, but that's awesome. This is a game that I've that I've seen people get in their subscription boxes. And this is a game that I've really been wanting to try to get. For the longest time. So I'm happy to add this to the collection. Definitely happy to add this to the collection. I think I might actually play this. For a little bit after this video. But that's freaking awesome dude. Alright. Alright. Also for the Xbox 360. We got. Assassin's Creed. Number one. Complete in box. I already own this game. So I'm going to. So I'm going to. Just put that in uh give a cell pile. Alright, for also for the Xbox 360, and this is by Square Enix. So I know they definitely make good games. Complete in box, it's a disc alright. Might need to be resurfaced. It is a copy of Sleeping Dogs. So that's cool. Happy to add that to the collection. Alright, here we got another 360 game. Which I think I'm just gonna sell. Um, the BAM! Tony Hawk Ride. So I think I'm gonna give this one to the game store for credit because I don't have that weird balance board thingy. Rip off. Try to come up with. Alright. 
here is a cut here's a game for the Xbox one that's sealed so it's called Titanfall I don't know if I own this already so I might have to put this into the collection but yeah Titanfall I don't know anything about that game but yeah just gonna put that in the key pile for now here we got a Wii U game it is ba bam Skylanders SWAT Force. I don't have anything to say about that. I don't think the game store will accept this because it doesn't have the, I guess, the stand you put the pieces on. So I'll I'll still try. Here's a game that they for sure won't take because I did try giving this game away to them. And it's a copy of Disney Infinity. So they will not accept this. So I'm just going to have to leave this on, at, on the cor a street corner or something. And then for the Nintendo Wii, the same game that we got for the 360. Tony Hawk Ride for the Nintendo Wii. So duplicate. Complete in box. Ooh. Oh, guys, we got a receipt. Let's see what the secrets of the receipt entail. So they got this at Jesus Christ. You who whoever paid for this paid a hundred and seven bucks, bro, for this crappy game. Is it even still worth it? Like, is it even still worth that, bro? You know what? I'm going to keep this for in the collection just because of this receipt. Alright, you are a piece of history, somebody's history, and somebody bought you for $107. You know what? Just add, just add another $107 to the collection. Tony Hawk Ride for both systems. That's... Bro. Alright, here's... Ooh, another one for the Nintendo Wii that I'm actually going to keep. But bam Monster Trucks Arena's Special Edition. Complete in box. Immaculate disc with some fingerprint smudging. But yeah, that's actually that's cool. To have that that to the collection. And then I'm so happy about these three games. Well, okay. Well, maybe not maybe not two of them. I'm going to get the two that I probably won't want out of the way first. Um, and then keep this the one I want at the bottom. Alright. So here we got a Babam. I think I got this in the last last flash sale unboxing. Sorry, I'm getting kind of parched here. Um, Hot Shots Tennis Get a Grip. So I already got this into the collection. So this is going to be going into the cell pile. And this game looks absolutely trashy. It's called Brooktown High by Konami. Sealed. I guess this is a dating sim game for the PSP. So I don't I don't know how to feel about that. So I guess I'll keep it. And then a open copy of Hot Shots Golf Open Tee. So I think I have, might have both Hot Shot Golf games to add to the collection. So that's cool. I have I have more games to add to the collection for the PSP that we receive in the mail soon. So that's awesome. Alright, last one, two, three, four games. So, here's two for the original PlayStation. This one is called... Ba bam Street Racquetball. So, a PlayStation 1 racquetball game. Ooh, okay. How's the disc looking? Oh, the disc is actually in great shape, so... Happy Dad, that's the collection for the PlayStation. Like I said, I'm going to give sports games a try on my consoles, see which ones I like and don't like. Here's one I'm probably not actually going to keep. It's called 
NFL Game Day 98. The disc is in a little bit worse shape, but I guess with a little resurfacing. So yeah, that's cool that the collection, not gonna lie. Um, might, might not actually keep it. Alright, so here's the last two games for the original Nintendo. But bam, NES play action football. I'm gonna put that to the side here. And I literally think that this game came from 30 Rock Games. And is a black label copy three screwed variant of Pro Wrestling. So I'm gonna keep that for the collection. Alright, guys, this is that's another 25 games. Thank you everybody for watching. My name is the Liberal Idiot. Alright, so here's the keep pile. And then here's the sell pile. So what do you guys think of this video? Let me know down in the comment section down below. What do you guys think is the pick for this this set of 25? And so far we unboxed 75 different games for the collection here. My name is the Lovable Idiot, and I'll see you guys in the last four last part, part number four. Or we unbox the last 25 games. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.